Stormtrooper ring. I'm going to show you from the CAD to milling to the nice finished wax. Well, we're rough cutting the, uh, we're rough cutting the old Imperial Stormtrooper. I don't know if you can kind of see him in there. It's kind of the uh, left side of his face. Left side of the helmet and the head. See it in there, you kind of see the eye and. Oh, anyway, it's kind of messy. The rough cut's always kind of messy because there's so much material being taken off, right? So, and uh. But what a neat piece, the Imperial Dark Up R. See, that's after the rough cut. I cleaned up a little bit, you know, gotta make sure the machine's looking nice. You see the bit? I'm going to change that one out for a fine bit. But you see our, st our, our, our stormtrooper in there. All right, you can see him. This bit cut one millimeter above the surface, one millimeter away from things. So from the, from the actual stormtrooper ring, it's a roughing bit. It just gets rid of all the excess stuff so that this next cut will be a lot, a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. And then I'm only taking off one millimeter of material and it, it's just, you, you, you can watch it progress a lot better too. This is a little gauge that actually sets the height of the bit. So the bit goes in here and, you, and be careful with it. And then you set it. And it comes up, comes out perfect every time. And then I'll put that into the spindle of the machine And tighten that up and so I'll know where it's at. You gotta move it uh, the cutter on X out of the way so you can get the uh, the little collet off here. Moving it back I mean X has been moved so we just go over to X and ask it to go back to zero. Boom and that's where it was that's where it ended off last time. So now I'm going to load the uh, fine cutting pattern or the cutting pattern for the fine bit here and off we go. So we'll close the old one and uh, we're going to load and of course it's already open in my stormtrooper file so I want the .06 mmg. Okay, should take a few seconds to load. there. You can almost see the profile of the uh, stormtrooper right at the... Uh... Okay, so looking at everything, it's 36, it knows that. Okay, and then we're going to start the coolant. The coolant started, I'm just going to line the coolant up, turn it down a little bit. Okay, so, uh, and then it's pretty straightforward, just cycle start. And uh, off you go to the races. Let's line that up. We'll turn it down a little bit. And uh, just put the blast shield up. And uh, otherwise it just makes a mess here. And uh, she's going to start cutting. And it's a millimeter in from everything now. So it's going to be a little bit smaller much more precise. I mean, this is going to take probably about, uh, I'm guessing, an hour and 15, maybe an hour and 20 minutes to cut. Cutting a fine pass on the Stormtrooper ring. It's looking pretty good. Look at the detail. Water splashing everywhere. Look at them in there. Oh, we're just about finished the fine pass here. Look at it, it's making its last little cut.
And there we go, it's going to find itself back to where it was. Or where it started, not was. There's the old stormtrooper coming into view. Anyway, she's pretty cool. One hour, 16 minutes, and 10 seconds. Pretty close to an uh, hour and 20. Okay, at this point here, there's two ways to go. One, I take the mill, change the bit, back to the roughing bit, and take axis B, which is this axis here, and then turn it so that the stormtrooper is uh, upright, and then take the roughing bit and move it out half the diameter of the inside of the finger, which we know is 22.28 millimeters. So half of that, less half the width of the bit, and that'd be real precise, and then I'd cut it a few times. I just find it easier to take it out, chuck it on a lathe, and bore it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, well I got her chucked in a little lathe. And, I mean, I got this lathe just set up for just doing this type of stuff, right? That's, that's the reason why I don't bother messing with the mill too much. I got this just set up perfect, right? So, and it doesn't have it doesn't have to be that exact, right? I mean, it, it, is, it is jewelry world. This ain't hip replacement parts. Right, so I know I've got it at the edge of that. And I know that if it goes all the way down, be fine. So that goes all the way down. And I go nice and slow. It uh, no reason to rush. It took uh, two hours to cut that wax and all the designing and everything else. You don't need to rush. It's just nice and easy. And uh, you know, with all of these tools I'm using, they're not toys. You can't hurt yourself. Took a little saw, cut off the top of the wax, cleaned it up around here a little bit, and I'm going to file it out. Well, I'm just about done. I used the fine file now and uh, rounded all the corners. Remember, it's a piece of jewelry and it has to be comfortable. Uh, it has to be worn, so no sharp corners. Uh, you know, you're gonna be able to put this in your pocket. It's not gonna snag on anything. Uh, it's just, uh, I think it just turned out just beautiful. One last look.